Hi there, every people. This is the real mass of Kemets, goddess of justice, truth, balance, and harmony. And today, I want to talk about Bobby Wine. I've been wanting to talk uh, about Bobby Wine on congratulating him on the prize he received. He currently received um, uh, like four weeks ago. It was on December. But I think this was the right time uh, that the ancestors has planned for me. Um, all because of this dramatic arrest we have been seeing with Bobby Wine in Uganda. And it's not good it's not good uh, at all it's not it's like it's getting angry it's getting angry let me see not angry angry eh? for the people of uh uganda so let me start with uh congratulating him uh bobby wine deceiving african uh, freedom from frederick nauman foundation for freedom which is a Germany Foundation for Liberal Politic and he was given this award by a lady called Astrid Dose who is a vice president of Liberal International. Let me give you a short history of this of this uh, foundation, how it was established the year it was established and it's the it's manifestos and it was founded at 1958 this is a non-profit foundation for um let me repeat it ag again this is non this is a liberal international international Okay, let me repeat the whole thing because it's kind of I've, me I've messed up. And let me say that it's a non-foundation liberal politics that promotes the goal of making the principle of freedom valid for the dignity of all people and in all areas of society, both in Germany and abroad. So that it's, it's manifesto and the year it was... Um, established you can look uh, more you can do all your own research about this whenever you hear things in these videos um, about our people and the people who are be behind them maybe they are promoting them or they are there to motivate them please go and look about these organizations and uh, foundation what they are all about and they are the way they they are going also the way they touch even your life okay let me give you and like i said i'm uh, i do like uh the coding numbers so i will start uh the coding bobby wine because bobby wine is an energy that is setting ripples across Uganda, not even across Uganda, the whole world. We have seen him in Al Jazeera. And also we in Africa, because he's a young, and many people, many of our people in Africa are at his age. So it's kind of many people are looking upon Bobby Wine. So he's a force to reckon with, and also he's an energy which is impacting so many, many, um change in africa and uganda also and this is this is because the people of uganda have been experiencing the same thing we are experiencing here in kenya and all of africa uh all because because of our readers fearing us and forgetting about us completely so i will just give a record the name bobby wine bobby wine has two two names and if you add the two names the first one is the adding to number 19 and the other one is 24 so in equal they are adding up to 43 that is if you add 4 plus 3 is equaling to number 7 and also he is 
37 years and if you add 7 plus 3 that is 9 so the, that is two powerful numbers 799 nine are very powerful numbers and also if you add the da date of birth he was born on 12th uh, february so you can see there 12 to 122 that is also another uh, great number there and if you add 1982 it's adding up to number 20, uh, 20. so if you add 14 14 plus 20 they are equaling to 34 and if you add 34 again there you go you get number seven so by birth he's uh, somebody who came to bring changes in this world or in his own country or to his own people but this is what the freemason have been doing they always know with the time you are coming here they already know uh, your birth dates and what you have you have what is your mission or your purpose in this ad so they always make sure that they get you so you can see we all know that free uh, bobby wine is a freemason and we all know what freemasons are doing to uh many people the lives of people all over the world because it's all about their ego they are just want to satisfy the, themselves alone they just want to rule people keep the power to themselves and then they are raining all these half folks through bad medicine bad food which is genetically modified that is what they are doing to the people and it's not good it's it's not good so i have given you there number uh number seven and number nine that is the numbers that be wine and the date of birth are giving us and okay number nine uh, means a lot it means a uh, it's a number which means uh, transformation it's a number of transcendence and also number seven is a number which is a completion of physical being and it's it is used to to give you okay it's it tells that you that you have reached uh, a god body so this is a very powerful number as you can see and i think it's also used by freemasonry in in their work also <laughs> let me not touch about that because i don't know so much about that i haven't done research on number seven well how they do they use it but i think they do use number seven because like i have said it's a very powerful number in universe so uh, let me talk about the all this saga we have been seeing about bobby wine being arrested and like i said it's getting angry because like this one he uh he, we saw about several days when where he was uh, heading to consultative consultative meeting in guyaza <laughs> we had a lot of uh we had a we, we witnessed a lot of chaos between the policemen and the public and like i said this is what the policemen uh, have been programmed to see people as their enemy and it's the high time we stop this because this is what is happening all over the world and it's all about the training that they get in their school during their training and it's all about inhuman training that they are programmed to protect the protect the interests of few individuals 
who are just doing bad things, but they cannot see the badness in the, that in the people who are controlling them, but they see the badness in the people. And it's the high time you policemen wake up and know, and know who is the enemy. Who is the enemy? The enemy is not the people. The enemy is the one who is controlling you. So let me say that a lot of tear gas was used and if you check that video you see where they had set this roadblock to arrest bobby white it's kind of um, a shopping center where we see even two ch small children women running all over very worried because of the tear gas and also the gunshots and all this commotion was so much for the children, even the children were crying there. And this is very bad. That is why I'm saying the policemen, you have to be cautious of what you are doing. Whenever you are confronting such a situation, you need to relearn the tactics on how you are going to confront these people. Because the energy you give is the energy that the people will receive on the other side. That is the supporters of Bobby White. So you need to relearn how to change those tactics in order to calm the situation rather than making the situation to, uh, to worsen. So like I said, the enemy is not the people. This is for you, the policemen. The enemy is not the people. So don't go picking on people because in this um, video you see even they they are starting to uh, arrest even the innocent people those people who are doing business there and those also people who are caught in this mayhem those people who had their motorbikes there so in they always arrest everybody they see so I don't know why but like I said it's the program or the training that they are getting from the from their schools so that is that okay so that is police taking to the public stop that stop that always if you want to arrest people arrest people who are involved in this um, chaos like you can see the supporters of Bobby Wine do have this uniform, the red uniform, or they always wear the red barrets. So by that you can identify the people, but don't go picking the the public. Then police using excessive force, which is which creates chaos. Like I said, you need to rerun your tactics on how to confront chaos with a more harmonious way rather than going with the, that attitude, that ego of war like I want war or I want to kill somebody. You have to stop that. These are your own brothers and sisters and remember that you are there uh, in service for the people and not for the the state or the people who are controlling you and remember your people always uh, do give a lot and sacrifice a lot for you to go through those training because many people do sell their rats do sell their animals in order for you to make it through those training so you have to be considerate that these people are your people and they mean no data or harm to you remember these people are not armed like you are armed they don't have tear gas so you need to know how to or to relearn how to confront them another thing that i saw in this video about police is police mishandling humans that like, like they are a piece of uh, trash you can see that in the field where the consultative meeting was to take place i think there was two guys one in a suit and one in a, an african attire 
and okay they are throwing tantrums to the policemen and the policemen are not happy <laughs> remember the attitude uh, what you give is what you receive so both sides are wrong on this because this is not the way you should be addressing your problem you should also learn how to address your problem so i'll start with the with the policeman and then i'll go to the other side because both sides need to rethink they need to um wise wise up and see how they they are they will be addressing such issues without creating chaos and crisis so these two ge gentlemen were held in the Raj Rofa and instead they were told to fit in under the chairs. That is very inhumane. That is very shocking. <laughs> instead of uh, sitting on the seats there, they just, they are told to fit in a very small place. And this is what the policemen have been doing. So you don't need to do this to humans. These are your fellow human. Remember, Tomorrow it's you and today it's me. You can be a policeman today to, and tomorrow um, you are a civilian. So you wouldn't want uh, you wouldn't want yourself to go through such a humiliation. And also tomorrow your child or the other child you are arresting can be a policeman and you wouldn't you wouldn't want your child to go through such a thing. So be considerate, wise enough uh, policemen. This is not at all about chaos and crisis. It's not at all about fighting and fighting and uh, killing each other and arresting each other. We together we can come as one and we know how we are going to address the, our issues without confrontation and learning battles and also crabbing people with those crabs you always carry it's not always like that we don't want to copy what the western are doing because this thing is what the western brought to us chaos has been there in african uh, time but we did not go or we do not use such kind of a procedure to confront chaos or crisis or scenarios like that we were not using such things so we need to remember how we did it because the situation is soaring and soaring down to the abyss and it's the time we um, unite our people so Bobby when there is a sub speculation that you are working for the West hope you are not a puppet because if you are working for the other people like you are like um, the current government that is there in your country what they are doing or the African leaders has been working for the West and forgetting the interests of the people it won't be a good thing for you so if you are working for the West Please have your second thought. This is the time you, you should have your second thought. It's not all about you. Even that freedom uh, award that you won, like in, in the interview you gave in SABC, it was a very powerful interview. Hope you live by those words because you can see what you, you are witnessing and also by being arrested, you are witnessing what... The rule of the law is being uh, violated and the human rights are also being violated for you and your people. So you wouldn't want, uh, when you get to the top, you wouldn't want to see such things to, uh, to your people or you doing the same thing to your people because it's kind of traumatizing and very painful. So hope you are not working as a puppet you are working for the people of Uganda you are um, your madness it is to liberate them and help them help the aiding sector like you said 
the aiding health that is the uh, hospitals and so many other things the schools everything is in a mess because similarly what we are experiencing here in kenya i know you can relate is the same thing you are experiencing in uganda so work for the people of uganda and let me say those words you that you gave in the interview are exemplary full of wisdom full of wisdom and full of right so what i will also recommend you know to do is stop going with your supporters when you are going to for consultation or any other important meetings uh, as it is going to worsen the situation whenever the police know that you are going for this consultation meeting it's a good time for them it's a good time for them and we don't see we don't need to see this kind of a thing that is we witness in the this previous arrest so patriotism with discipline is the best is the best you are a wise man like i said you are full of wisdom so you be in a in a know on how you can um you can contain your people few of your people who would be accompanying you uh talk to them and uh, because even in this video you can see that they are not behaving very well <laughs> so talk to them and train them on how they whenever you are going for this consultation meeting on how you are going to carry your uh, your approach then Revolution was chaos like the one witnessed here. Yeah, it's not good because the kind of uh, thing you are you are you are setting in Uganda, this through this dramatic arrest, and then you are uh, getting away with motorbike. Mm, it's setting a it's not setting a good picture to us African people. And this is not what we want because we have gone through this already. Your supporters confronting police. Yes, we saw that. <laughs> and then driving dangerously with the motorbikes. You can see even they are using both lanes. And th that was a two way traffic. You can see even they are also endangering the life of the the arrives and also hanging precariously in the cars that you are riding it's not a good way remember that is a person or car it doesn't have handles where you can hang tightly and it's it's making them to not to be safe they can fall down let me say in short they can fall down and please people you have to bear with my english <laughs> english is not my first language e english <laughs> it came with the ship but i'm trying my best and i know i am expressing the way i should be um yeah that is it yeah so what i would like also for you to do Bobby Wine is work with Museveni, Besije, Steranyanzi, the diaspora people, they are looking, so many people are watching you, remember you have gone international, work with the other African countries, like you can work with Marema, Marema is a similar group like yours, but Although they draw tantrums, it's not like the way you are drawing tantrums uh, in Uganda. Yours has a lot of drama. So you can uh, borrow a leaf from Marema. And also you can see how the Marema is just 
confronting the bees that are, that is aiding the South Africa country bit by bit, bit by bit, and they are winning this war. They are winning this war, and they are going to win. They are finally going to liberate the people of South Africa. Um, and if you check my other video, I say that our ancestors are doing something in South Africa. That's one I can assure you. And I, because I, I have faith in, with, in my ancestors because they are the one who are making all these things happen. They are here with us and they are fighting with us. Kemet is surrounded, that is the confirmation that I got. And also, even the wars that we are witnessing in Middle East, I got also the confirmation that all is well. And because they are, our ancestors are very witty and very knowledgeable, everything is falling into its own, the way it's supposed to go. So we need not to worry. What we need to do is work here because they are helping us work on the here on the ground by unifying each and everybody we don't want to leave anybody behind we want to go as one people together so work with the people consult even uh consult with the people here in africa the like my dead there are so many here in in um, Africa, the Omoyore, Soere, Marema, just to mention the few, there are so many of them you can work with. Then, what I would like to say is the press, the media, because they are always there whenever there is chaos. They like chaos. The mainstream media, it's what they have, we have been witnessing. Even here in Kenya, we have been witnessing our mainstream media raining airing and airing this kind of uh, of videos that are not present in our eyes and also videos that are not accurate and also adding lies in their videos ex too much exaggeration in their video please media and the press be considerate what you are portraying um portraying here through your videos is what the world is um the world is uh what do i see the world is seeing us like if you like if we, we are people who like violence that is what, what they are going to grasp with their mind so be sensitive be very careful whenever you are airing such kind of videos and also you can also balance by hearing the good thing <laughs> about our people also so don't wait for the chaos and the running battles that is when the that is the time you are going to air uh, such things you can also go talk with the with the people of the supporters of Bobby Wine, uh, uh, talk to them on how, the, um, what is their views, their opinion. Also, do bring the bring this in the the okay <laughs> the presence of the people so that they know even what the supporters think. We see we always see the supporters but we don't know what is so much fascinating about Bobby Wine, what they they like uh, more about Bobby Wine and what is making them to support Bobby Wine also. So we would like also to see such things things happening uh, in order to bring the balance. And let me say great readers are not born through chaos, but are born through unification of people. So this is the to you, Bobby Wine. Unify your people again. Nobody is above uh, above road. Don't misuse chance this chance you have been granted. Don't make your way to the to the top like most of the set out puppets readers. Uh 
this is what they have been doing like as we have been witnessing he, this in Kenya whenever there is this uh, election this is what they have been doing to people they always make their way to the top through bloodshed and don't do that you are a wise guy a young man many people or young people are looking upon you then kill that attitude of violence cause many people young people are look, looking upon you so like well, this is what i have to repeat this again and again and it has to give to get in the minds of our african people our brothers and sisters and also the upcoming people that violence revolution is not our thing it's not our thing it was brought to us and we have to add this now now it's the time to add this so and also the arrest should be a reason that when when you reach to the top that you will never want to see your brothers and sisters going the same traumatizing experience again and this is what happens when you when you set out to the west so like i said work for the people of uganda remember this is very important work for the people of uganda work together with all of them we don't want the same thing that has been happening in Uganda to be repeated again so year 2020 is our year it's our year to see where we we are going and what we are building together so you even said about this in your inter in in your interview about the the police and you have also sung about the police using uh, excessive force and also you see there is that torture place and I that ha that tortures people and people are killed you don't want to see this so it's your time to notify all those places and this is by whatever you are seeing this dramatic arrest and then escaping it's not a good idea so my appeal to you is that Stop doing what you are doing. There are so many ways to kill a cat. So, <laughs> and I'm saying this metaphysically. So, look for more better way on confronting or whenever you are going to hold this public meeting, look for a better way because this is what you want. So that is it, people. And if you like my video, remember to like, subscribe, and share. So, lovely, lovely day, people.